What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min for Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you the new features in Lumion 2024. Let's get started. If you don't have Lumion 2024, follow the link in the description box to download a free trial. Number 1. Improve Library With the latest update, you will now have large thumbnail previews which help you get a closer look at each object before placing it in your scene. Simply hover over each item and you see a high resolution image appear. Additionally, you now have even more control over the Lumion library search tags. With an item selected, you can click on one or more tags to add it to the search. If you hold shift and click, then it will add a negative tag which will be excluded from the search. The tags that are present in the search string will be highlighted in blue, while the tags that are excluded from the search string will be highlighted in red. Last but not least, you can use Ctrl and click to replace the current search with a new selected tag. This intuitive feature makes it a lot easier to search through the extensive Lumion library. Besides that, the library has been updated to have many new assets such as new fine detail nature objects, new characters, materials, and decals. Number 2. Redesign user interface Lumion 2024 will no longer have to flow the menu panel in the lower right corner, but instead it now has a vertical sidebar on the left side of the screen. This will make it faster to navigate between the build, photo, movie, and panorama modes. Number 3. Landscape Tiling Landscape Tiling is a new feature that helps prevent repetition in texture tiling to create seamless material surfaces. To use it on a material, go to UV coordinates and enable Landscape Tiling. If it says not available, then you need to change the material scale to a custom value. Now you can enable the Landscape Tiling feature. Here's the before and after. As you can see, our material no longer looks repetitive. Number 4. Raytrace Trees In the latest update, the thousands of nature models in the Luma library are now fully compatible with ray tracing. To test it, I will import an old scene and render it with the newly improved ray tracing in Lumion 2024 to see how it looks. Here is a comparison between the ray trace image in 2023 and Lumion 2024. Also, when we compare the raster render versus the ray trace render in Lumion 2024, you can see the ray trace image is more accurate when it comes to portraying how the vegetation interacts with light. But also, the image seems to be higher in resolution when I zoom in. Plus, the effect stack for the raster workflow is very complicated, but when using ray tracing, I only had to use a fill effects. Number 5. Real-time ray tracing previews Lumion 2024 now has a new denoiser which allows you to preview your ray trace render in real time. Here is a comparison between the new and old versions. You can see that Lumion 2023 has a lot more noise when we move around, while in Lumion 2024, you can move the camera or make adjustments to the color correction effect without having to reload the preview each time. Additionally, you can now achieve high quality results with ray tracing using fewer samples than the previous versions of Lumion. This means that you can render videos significantly faster than before. To help make your workflow even faster, there are new ray tracing quality presets which allows you to quickly select a predefined number of samples and bounces without having to tweak them individually. You can choose from fast, balanced, high, extreme, or custom. Number 6. Ray Trace Glass In Lumion 2024, glass materials now look better than ever because of the new ray tracing capabilities. In the ray tracing settings, you can turn on fully ray trace glass to enhance the intricate details of your glass objects. Also, color glass will now cast accurate shadows onto your scene. In addition, materials with translucent and subsurface scattering properties will look super realistic. Furthermore, you can also adjust specific properties of ray trace glass, including distortion, emulated thickness, and light absorption. I will create a more in depth video for this topic in the future. Number 7. Parallax Interiors Parallax Interiors are a new type of object in Lumion. It is a method of displaying an entire room by using only a single polygon. This is a very useful method to optimize scene's performance. To use it, you can go to Effects and click on Parallax Interiors. These come in three different sizes with three different ratios, small, medium, and large. When placing a Parallax Interior, you can hold R and drag the left mouse button to rotate it. Holding L and drag will let you resize it. After placing it, you can change the position using the Move tool and if you need to change the orientation and size again, then you can use the Rotate and Scale tools. Alternatively, you can change the size with the Room High slider. A tip for quickly adding these to the scene is by holding Alt and drag to duplicate it. Then click this button to replace the selection with another parallax interior. 
There's also a slider that lets you change the brightness of the room. All parallax interiors currently in the library also have a day and night version. You can use the toggle lights button to switch between the two versions. Note that if you turn off the lights, you might need to increase the brightness a bit. A cool trick that I found is that this also works with some buildings that are in the Lumen library. As you can see, this is great for making your scene more lively without spending too much time on manually placing objects in the buildings on your site. There are also other features such as new camera grid overlays, batch import, new camera controls, GLTF support, new rendering styles, and many more. I'll leave a link to more details about the new release in the description box below. Check out this video for more Lumion tips and tricks. Say inspired guys and I'll see you next time. Thank you.